Hey friends, welcome back to Side Street Market. Happy 2022. We are in the new year and today we are back in the garage for a haul because I have a huge Goodwill haul and it's just hard for me to bring that much into my dining room to haul. So we're going to go ahead and do this haul in the garage and I'm going to show you what we're going to haul. So this may end up being two videos because we have this giant bin of bagged goodness to go through. I hit the bag section like crazy at Goodwill. All the goodie bags, the whole clear bin is full of the grab bags. So we're gonna dive in and see what I've found. And something different I'm gonna try in 2022 is as I go through my hauls, I'm gonna try to give you guys some comps. So you may see some numbers coming up, rolling on the screen. If you're not sure what that is, those are, I'm going to try to, for some of the items at least, look up what they have sold for or what I might list them for on eBay or Etsy. And I'm gonna kinda of try to give you guys more of that information this year. So let's go ahead and dive into the first layer and then we may have a second video and I'll see you in that one too. All right guys, here we go. And please don't mind my recycling. I know this isn't my usual background. Oh, this hair today, I tell you. It's kind of warm out here. Make sure my camera doesn't fall off. So the first thing I have are the four regular bags of items. So we're gonna go in and I've got my crazy kitschy crew shirt on. This is from Vintage Digs and Calypso Cat. If you don't know their channels, go be sure to check them out. They do live sales weekly together and they're part of the crazy kitschy crew. So I have their shirt on today. So first off, and so as I film this, it's been like over a week since I bought everything. So I don't exactly remember what I got. So this should be fun. First item up. Oh yes, is this really cool display box. It opens on the side. Something's shaking. The bin is talking, guys. The bin of stuff we have to go through. One of the bags of toys is talking right now on its own. That's not freaky. So this is a very cool, there you are. There's my phone. Mirrored display. Now when I normally find these, there's a pane broken, something's damaged. This was $4. I don't think it was uh, on sale. It's got the feet. So this is the first item and you may We'll get to that, we'll get to that. So you may see, I'm gonna try to like hold things like this cause you may see numbers come up if I can get to it. It's my goal to try to run some comps for you guys and show you that in my haul videos this year. So you may see fewer videos from me, but you'll get more of that sort of info in the ones you do see. So that was the first item, $4. And let me actually grab a cart. I'm gonna have to wait to grab a cart. The good news is my recycling's right here. So I don't have far to recycle stuff. Get rid of the bag. So this is my shipping station that we're hanging out at. And I promise you'll still get to see my backdrops throughout the year when I do my other types of hauls, but this one was just easier to do this way. Okay, now this guy was super cute and I was so excited to find him. It is a vintage Japan squirrel bank. Now it is missing its top fur. This would have had fur. It does have its side fur still which is very, very delicate. I will say that it's, but this was $4. There's lots of crazing. There's, um, I'm pretty sure it's Mickey that's talking in the bin. And <laughs> there's something rattling around inside of it, but the, you know what? This is so brittle, I don't wanna take it out. So this was a fun vintage find because I don't normally find this good of a vintage at my Goodwill that isn't destroyed. So we'll put you right there. There we go. And I'm hoping this is still intact. This was a fragile bell I found, that yellow pottery. Did it make it home? It did. So this is a tourist piece. And I only picked it up because it's San Francisco. It says Monterey, made in Japan, San Francisco. It was $2. And I know San Francisco can be popular because it's got the Golden Gate Bridge and it's got the famous trolleys on there. So that's why I picked this one up. And everything you see is for sale. By the time you watch my videos, 
they may be listed on eBay, they may not. You're always more than welcome to email me at sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com to check if items are, list are listed or anything like that. I'm hoping you can hear me okay. This is my first video of my brand new iPhone. I've only ever had an Android, so I've made the swap to the iPhone. Already the picture looks a lot clearer to me, so. Then I picked this up because I thought it was a really pretty ceramic piece. It's a Christopher Stewart bone china. And I have some Christopher Stewart, 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 his strawberry line of bone china, like his cake server and spatula, but I'd not seen the jewelry box before. This was $4. It's just really pretty. So I picked that up. And there's gonna be so much stuff, guys, on my table. Let's see what the other fragiles were. It's like Christmas because I really don't remember what I got. This was a trip to Goodwill. I went on my lunch hour. I get an hour for lunch and my Goodwill is like 10 minutes from my house. So it's perfect. So I ran over there. I set my timer for 30 minutes to give me time to shop. And then when I was done, I checked out. I ran back home and I just filled my cart this day. So... Oh yes. Now, I don't know if this guy is going to sell, but I thought he was pretty neat. I'm a sucker for the, um, uh, what do they call it? Studio pieces, home pieces. He is a utensil holder. He is a chef hand painted utensil holder. So you could put your spatulas in the front and the back. I did pay up. He was $4. Now I have one like this that is a girl in a dress and she is for knitting needles that is listed on my Etsy. So I thought he was kind of neat. So um, keywords would be vintage chef, kitchen utensil holder, kitchen aid, vintage kitchen. He's got those great 70s colors. So I picked him up. We'll put him carefully by the squirrel. Oh yes, and then for my dog lovers, I just like the looks of this guy. Now, I can't tell where he is from. I think it's a Brazil piece. So the bottom says Brazil, and he was $4, but it's just a nice size dog. He's probably six inches tall. He's got the hand painted eyes. He's that traditional brown, black, and white, not the luster wear that you see a lot of from Brazil. There were quite a few dogs, but I was selective on what I picked up and I thought he was a piece I'd not seen before. Um, I don't know if he's a type of schnauzer because of the nose. Maybe not. I'm gonna have to do like a Google Photos and see if I can figure out what type of dog he is. Okay, now guys, this next set I'm keeping. I'm sorry. These are the type of kitschy Christmas that I collect for me. I found four new in bag, so new old stock. If you ever see NOS that's new old stock, holly, plastic holly garlands. I have four eight foot garlands. So I got four of these for $4. They were sitting on like a top of one of the racks when I checked out, so I'm like, I have to get those. So that is going to be for my vintage Christmas decor. So I'm very excited to have that. So those are going to be fun. I'm going to set them down here because those are for me. And I think that those are the only thing out of all these items that are not for sale. And I know you're probably thinking, sure, Christine keeps the good stuff for herself, but you know, in a year or two, I might decide to sell it. Now, the last item I picked up is kind of like this country style. These are almost like a rose gold, like a rose gold set of heart wall sconce photos. These would be cute in like a little girl's room or a country style home. Now it is missing one of the inserts, but you could still use regular tap tapered candles. You just melt the bottom of it. And I keep forgetting the pause a little so I can put the comps. I'll eventually get used to this, guys. So I picked these up and I thought that those were cute. Just something different, very country. 
I could picture them like in a bathroom too, you know, like a little country chic pink bathroom for a kid with some of the like LED candles and stuff. Very cute. All right, now we have our first delicate goodie bag. This, so when I say goodie bags, my Goodwill has a, a wall section full of bags like this. So the rest of this, that whole bin I showed you is full of bags like this. I probably grabbed 20 bags this day. Now I do know there are broken pieces in here already, but I saw the donkey who says Japan on him and he was not broken. And this beagle looks vintage also. And there's a horse down here that may be missing a leg, also marked Japan, but there are some broken pieces. Now this whole bag was $4. So we're gonna see what we can find in it. So, and I have to kind of try to keep them together because I've not done any inventory on this yet. I wanted to open the bags with you guys. So I'll just kind of have to keep the price with them. Because what's awesome with a bag like this it, is this whole bag was four item, $4. So that makes these like maybe 50 cents a piece for me. And now you'll see why I have to split this into more than one video because we're already 10 minutes in and that's the first bag and I have a ton of those. So I'm gonna try to keep these two between 20 and 25 minutes. So he is adorable. He's got some paint loss. He's definitely old ceramic. Check out that beagle. It's a little beagle puppy. He does have some paint loss, but it's definitely that old glaze. Someone will still love this. So this will definitely be listed in my eBay Etsy shop unless someone emails me to claim it. It is a smaller like four inch guy, but he is adorable. So that was in the bag. And I was dying to see this donkey. Oh, it's not broken guys. The donkey survived. I don't see any damaged legs. You know what? This was a salt and pepper shaker holder. That's what those hooks are for, I bet. I bet this held salt and pepper shakers. It does have some crazing on the leg. I'm seeing some heavy crazing on one leg, but he is marked Japan. So still already, this is probably eight to 12. This is probably eight to 12. I've already doubled my money from what I had in the bag. Okay. We've got a little vintage fish made in this, a little Occupy Japan koi fish. That might be something in a lot, or I might try that, six to eight dollars. Occupy Japan. I don't think the Occupy Japan gets as much as it used to, but this is kind of a different piece, so I'll have to look in my book. And there may be a set in here. This is the other lady I was really excited for. I'm gonna have to look her up. She's a little devil. Now, I, I feel like this was a good find in this bag. Something about this piece makes me think she's gonna be a good high dollar item and that people are really gonna like her. And so some of these items might show up in sales on YouTube. Now, in 2022, I don't know how many YouTube sales I'm gonna be doing as I'm concentrating more on my eBay and Etsy shops, but I do want to on occasion pop up on friends' channels, maybe have a live on my channel every now and then. You may see a drop sale, but I'm not gonna be definitely doing a sale once or twice every single month like I used to. It's gonna be more occasional because I really wanna focus on my eBay and Etsy shop and bring more content to you guys about how I'm pricing things, what I'm shopping for, how I'm expanding my eBay. But I also wanna be able to pop on and do a live with friends, so I'll keep some stuff for that. So she's very cool. I like her. So already, $4 for the bag, I've made it back. This is a made in China resin bunny. Still super cute though. I might still list that on eBay or Etsy for Easter if I get a little lot of bunnies together. Perfect. This is the thing that I know is broken. So, oh, there's things inside of here. This is what broke. It was just a little tree beer stein and there are broken handle pieces in here. So that's okay. That wasn't one of the figurines. So inside of that, there were these little characters. This one feels like resin, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. This guy looks like it's a character from something, so I'll definitely check that out. This is more like, probably just go in a donate back box. Now this is old. This guy is old, wow. It's definitely missing parts and it's got like something, oh, 
this is a very, very, very old Japan horse. And it had what looked like more hair on the side, but it had like a dead bug inside the hair or whatever that was on the side of it. So this is going to need some cleanup, very gentle because the hair is already falling off. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. This might be a donate back, even though it's Japan. It's missing part of its saddle. It's missing the thing for the mouth. It's got bug parts in the hair. I don't know what this one's going to be. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know. Okay, then we have a duck. This is an older duck. It's got no face. This might be a donate back. Of course, like I'll do screenshots. And if it doesn't seem like it's worth listing, then I'd, I'll donate it back with the frog. This is the handle that went with that stein. And then we have a little made in China September Teddy Baby's Bear. Um, 95. So it's vintage. I'll see if that's anything that might do something on Etsy. And then this looks like a little Dollar Tree thing to me. So this would just get donated back. I don't really see this being much. So, I mean, it might be like, this might go in my summer pile. So I have stuff that's in my storage unit that's a backup. So when like I get a lull in sales in the summertime and I'm not shopping as much, but I still need inventory to post. That's when things like this that sit in my storage unit, I start boxing those up and use in like June and July and start getting those listed. And then these become stocking stuffers in the winter time. So for four dollars, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were eleven figurines, and out of those, I'd say six are good for selling, maybe seven. So that's not bad. That's not a bad return on my investment. So I'm gonna kind of put these guys back in here carefully or at least try to get them back together because I don't want stuff to get broken. So I'm, I was I was pleasantly surprised by this lot. So I'm gonna stick all these together off to the side. I really wanted the devil, the donkey, and the dog were the three things I wanted out of the bag. So I'll at least triple my money from that. And I don't know what to do about this horse, guys. I gotta figure that out because I'm afraid to keep cleaning him because the hair is literally falling off. Like if you blow on it, the hair is coming off. And that was definitely a bug like encased on the side of its neck, so. The joys of reselling, right guys? All right, it is 17 minutes in. I'm gonna grab two more bags and this may end up being a three-parter guys, but I won't make you wait several days. If this becomes a three-parter, I'll drop it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or actually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I'm going to start trying to do weekend reviews on Mondays where I share with you what sold the previous Monday through Sunday on eBay and Etsy. So I'm gonna to try to start dropping those on Mondays in 2022. So then my shop with me's and hauls would be Tuesday through Thursday. So let me grab another bag. So then I picked up these and you're like, Christine, those are water bottles. They are water bottles, but I sell on eBay and I don't sell just vintage. I, I try to sell a majority of vintage. So this was $10 and I got six bottles for $10. Now they are new, not used, refill, reuse, BPA free, you know, little, they're nice water bottles. They have not been used. They've got their tags on them still. They have no smell except plastic. So this is an easy look it up, even if they're like $5 each and I have six of them, that's $30, my 10 into 30. I might be able to do a little more on them or I can do sets, blue, green, blue, green, $10 each for set. Again, $30 out of my 10, we'll see. I'm trying to like expand and see what other things I can find to sell. So that's where I was kind of branching out with that. Okay, and then this I thought was cute. It's kind of like a boy's caboodle, but it's a tackle box. It needs to be cleaned up. It's blue and gray. It's got, it's plain old written on it. And when you open it, it still has its insert. So it's almost like a little fishing box. So I'm just gonna get that cleaned up. Made in USA, it's got the model number. And I've done well selling um, these uh, like little tackle boxes and stuff before. This would fit probably in one of the priority um, shoe box sizes. So we'll see how that goes. $2, I couldn't pass it up. 
And then I, I'm branching out in the kids' toys, guys. I don't know why. Some, something here may be talking to me. So this whole bag was only $5. So I figured I could piece it out. And the first thing I'll look up is this guy and see if he works. He doesn't have a maker or anything on it. Oh, he's manly. He's a 2009 made in China, nine to 19. So he's not quite vintage, but someone may have had one of these or their kid lost one and broke it. It was their favorite toy. eBay replacement, there we go. It looks like there may have been some tape holding this together. So now toys guys, test. I test them with the batteries. Um, my eBay doesn't let me do videos yet, but my Etsy lets me do videos. So if this was true vintage and I could put it on Etsy, I'd film a little video of it working so they know it works. I put in my description, tested with batteries, batteries not included. So they know you don't, you, you're not really supposed to ship batteries. You have to do a whole special thing with that. So I take the batteries out. Plus this gets stored in my Florida garage where it can be over hundred degrees in the summertime. So I don't want batteries eroding. Just a tip if you're dipping into toys. And to me, this is just kind of fun, supplemental. I don't have kids. My niece and nephews grew up in New York. I was in Florida. I've not been around toys a lot. So it's just kind of fun for me a little bit to like see what's out there and figure things out. So that, I think between that and this one, I'll make my $5 back. This is a Fisher Price. And it looks like it, it rolls and it's got a little thing that goes up and down that the kid can play with and the head turns. So I'll look that up. It's probably a zoo toy. This may be a 10 to 12. This may be a 10 to 12. I only spent five, so we'll see. Then there is um, uh, new pacifiers. I'll throw those on eBay, new, never used. Again, um, this one I probably, I don't, I might donate back because the tag is torn and there's only four, two sets in here. They're the little baby socks. So that'll probably get donated back. And then there's this Infantino, which looks like a little baby teething toy or something like that. You guys can laugh at me because I don't know this stuff. Made in China, but, um, yeah, it's got teeth marks on it. Yay, baby chew toy. So say the three toys each bring like $10 and I only spent five. Or if I can sell one for five to eight, the rest is all profit. So that's why I grabbed this bag with some of the bigger toys in it. And then I just donate back the other items because you can piece items out. It's the per item cost I'm looking at. When I grab the bags, I got five items. That's a dollar each for a $5 bag. So that's... That's a way I'm working around the raised prices at my Goodwill of like, I picked this up for four. I got that whole bag of 12 vintage figurines for $4. So you see how I'm trying to find workarounds? Okay, we're at 23 minutes. So I have one more bag I'm gonna show you in this video. And this is a cute barware set I picked up. So this bag, cost me six dollars and the first thing in it now this I think is a more modern they taped it in there guys I think this is a newer one but it is one of those um make your mix glasses so it shows you how to make a whiskey sour Manhattan Bacardi I'll look this up this might be like an eight dollar glass this might cover the cost of the bag which was only six dollars so this one one item um Plus I have fees, so this will help. But the other reason I picked up this bag were these shot glasses that have these really cool wolf handles. Now these I feel I can get more for. I need to look them up. They've got like frosted bottoms and they are really cool. I don't know if they're sterling silver. Um, there's no damage. But these might be something that could bring good money. You'll see, I'll try to put comps here if I've had time to look them up beforehand. And I feel like this could really pay for the bag and be my money maker. So that is the first part of the haul, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. 
I hope you like this new format. If you did, please leave feedback in the comments. If you like this for 2022, you want to see more videos like this. The, uh, the behind, the thinking of what I'm buying, why I'm buying, and what it might be going for, what I'm looking at. And also remember that it'll vary area to area. So what I'm finding in Florida, I am selling across the country, but you might pick something up in your, your area and try to sell it across the country. It's all about keywords and stuff too. So this is just me trying to share more information with you in the new year and interact with you a little more. So if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button guys, and I'll be back with you in a day or two.